So Isadora stopped by and gave us a console called the Sawayama Wonder Disc. Uh, the only problem is that the Wonder Disc is for a different region. And so it won't work with any of the games that we have unless we can modify the machine to handle discs from a different region. Uh, so the first thing we want to talk about here is how we unlock the disk drive. So if you take a look in your uh, take a look in your magazine here, you'll see that there is a hard coded key here that Ripa Gaijin had pulled out from one of the consoles. I mean, in this universe at least. Uh, you're good. You have to actually read the magazine and find this key because you will need it in order to, to complete this mission. So step one is we need to go into and unlock the disk drive. That's where the key comes in. So XA is going to grab um, file 300. We'll talk about why uh, in a minute. And then it's going to jump over into here and it's going to into the auth register copy that code just hard coded in there uh that's step one uh b is going to be the one that's in charge of uh dropping off the data into the buffer so what's going to happen i guess i'll just go and start demonstrating so a is going to go in here open that up so the track register is going to say, okay, I need to read this from the disk. So A is going to go in, grab 209 from the track register and grab file 209. You'll see that file 209 has a bunch of values in it and then it's got SSEC kind of scattered throughout it. That value is the region and SSEC is the one that we can't, uh, that our console can't handle. We can handle the SSEA uh, region. So I have SSEA saved into XA's X register from file 300. That's the first thing we had grabbed. And what XA is going to do is it's just going to go through the file and is going to check if it's a number or not. Uh, and I'm doing that by saying if F is greater than minus 9999, because uh, all these numbers will be true for that value. But whenever you do a comparison like that against a string, it will come back as false. So this this test here is basically saying, is it a string or is it a number? If it's a number, I send the number plane just across to XB. If it is a string, however, so let's go to SSEC. Uh, right here, we check is SSEC. No, we're going to go to the we're going to jump to replace and we're going to copy X over across M instead. So we're just going to copy SSEA across over to B and B is going to write that into its copy of the file. Uh, and we're going to con we continue that sending either the number or SSEA across until we reach the end of the file. Once we reach the end of the file, uh, we drop it because we're done with it and we send a signal over to B saying I'm done with the file here. B is going to then drop his file and a little buddy is going to come out of the console and take the file away for us while B gets started and ready to write the next one. Meanwhile, XA jumped back in here, grabbed the next track and grabs that and continues the process. And these are meant to run infinitely. Uh, and this is a very long one to run. There's quite a few cycles it needs to go through in order to finish it. So I'm going to let that go and run for a minute. Uh, I did play with it for a while, trying to get some of the, trying to get the cycles down a little bit. I tried having XA deploy its own new agent each time it wanted to write a new file, uh, but that didn't actually end up help. That helped with the size, but it didn't help with the cycles at all. Uh, and generally, I try and lower the cycles when I do these kinds of missions. So we're thankfully actually almost done running through this. And there you have it. We're right in the right in the middle of the road for for our solution there. But now we can play games on our uh, on our desired console in our region.